This is our first all in 10. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, you gotta be. Oh, you guys are gonna fucking love that one. We got a minute to start here. Big sweat. We did not play day two on stream. We did not play day one on stream, but we're grinding out here in the 2650. We've locked up how much? 8,400 in bounties plus the uh, 7K. So we've locked a little like 15.5, something like that. Still gonna defend the 10.5 suited here. It's a pretty good flop. Okay. Snap check. His some ace fives, some ace tens. I don't think he checks king jack. I don't think he checks any ace queen. I don't think he checks ace ten. I think I'm gonna check raise here. We could just we could just check call as well. I'm going to check Jam River. I don't think we have too many check raises in this turn. So, and I think he's still going to naturally double barrel ace X. I don't think he's going to chicken out. I think we lose to ace four. Uh, I think we lose to some ace five. Oh, I bitch so. Oh, we had three, four. Okay, so we got an extra street. He had a gut shot. Interesting, he doesn't bent flop. That's all right. Nice, nice one to win there. Also got a pretty good hand here. Ace King making a return. <laughs> Not a bad flop. Like people just don't like they'll check maybe they'll check raise bluff here with like one street, but like this is not a traditional <sighs> Cause I know he's just gonna have like ace eight, ace four a lot. Oh he checks, that's so annoying. Okay. Yeah, I think when he checks there, he's probably just almost always giving up. Yeah, obviously we're never thinking about folding there, but... Under the gun limping. This is pretty good when I'm in the big blind with a hand that wasn't going to defend. It's Zazel completes. I mean, we're in a pot with two 20 big blind stacks that we cover. All right, we're going to the streets. I don't think we're going to get out of line with, like, ISOs or just like, oh, if he's limping, he might not. Yeah, we're just going to click the check button, go to the streets. Start with flopping a six. All right, there's the pay jump. Locking up an additional 780 with that one. Checks around flop, turn a third spade. I guess Karam could still have some sevens. I mean, Zay's a leading here. He has some suited stuff that appeals. He has a fair amount of offsuit stuff. He's probably going to lead large with his 10x. I think we're getting the right price with a flush draw, assuming the flush draw is live. And if we had a jack or a six, we're probably still calling. We're still pretty uncapped as well, so I don't think he's going to barrel off pretty wide on the river. He'll probably do this with like some overcard Broadway stuff. That's a really interesting river. We'll be bluff jamming if he checks. Yeah, we're going to be jamming flushes. We'll be jamming 8-9. I guess we don't jam two pairs. We don't jam 8x, but I think it's a spot where we have a lot of a lot of flushes here. So hopefully this doesn't snap me off. I think he's in a really tough spot with an 8, but he might still call an 8. But I don't think he has too many 8s in the spot. Yeah, so this is a bluff. We could be making worse fold, but I think we're definitely making 10x. In a really tough spot, side find side folds. Does he have an eight? Really? Oh my 
my god, he leads the turn with King A. That's so dumb. Oh, what a dumb survivor. Oh boy. If you see problems just opens, it's kind of intriguing because it's yeah, okay, never mind. Alright. So for many things we're doing other than all in. Big spot here. I don't expect to see too many folds when we jam as well. Kill us. At risk. <sighs> Kept it fair. You know, we had him virtually dead on the flop. You gotta give it a little bit, you know, you gotta be fair. Whew. We gotta go for the bounty. Maybe he spite folds as well. It's just annoying because like when we open, wow, he folds. Like people are gonna jam on us pretty wide, and I don't think we're gonna find insane overcalls. Because I think at 32 left, the chips just end up being worth significantly more. The bounties just don't weigh out enough. It's nice that he three bets small because we are priced in to find the call here, and hopefully we can just flop something huge. A boy could dream. We see one bust out on another table. All right. This is a big one here. If we brick it, so be it. But going for 6,200. Comes up with a small three, but I feel like he'd go larger if he had something that needs protection. So he could just be super strong here. <sighs> I mean, if this is our, uh, if this is our game, if this is where we go home. I think it's like, it's whatever to be opening this under the gun, but I think with the bounty, oh my god. Fuck. Oh, fuck yeah, baby! Oh! That's that good shit! Let's fucking go! Oh my fucking god! Yeah, I think we just got a call there. I think we got to go for the bounty. It's, it's close. It's not the cleanest. But I think... I think that's going to be acceptable. All right. Sevens, huh? Oh, could be a billion versus blind spot. He's got a $4,400 bounty. He limps. Interesting. I don't think he traps like sixes, fives, fours. He's not going to have a crazy amount... Like, hopefully he's trapping, like, strong ace-king, ace-queens, and not just, like, tens, but I, it's just a spot where we just are always jamming. He's going to have a fair amount of folds. Some traps that we're ahead of. Not, like, six. But if he snaps, it's no under pairs, I don't think. <sighs> and I think tanking for him with anything strong is very, very fair because we are on a pay jump, and these pay jumps are pretty significant from here on out. There's actually two people all in on other tables. Oh, he finds a fold. Yeah, we have a... He's forced all in. There's another one over here. Oh, there's another player all in, but he hasn't been called yet. But we get in that page jump here in a moment. Let's see a flop. It's not bad. I feel like if you went like 80% we fold... No, half bot, I think we still stick around. Yeah, this size, we're still sticking around there. We're gonna find the call. <sighs> Tens are like not the cleanest, but it's whatever. Sixes are obviously a great turn card. I don't know how often you see bits that size with a six, so. Intriguing turn. We both have equal amounts of Jack 10. I think in theory I'm supposed to jam Jack 10 suited, but it's a little different of a scenario. Got to go to work. I could luck more. Thank you, Edward. Interestingly, he finds the check. I guess he just has a king. I turn this into a bluff. I block jack 10. I block two pairs with a six. I don't think he checks too many flush draws on the turn. Unless he has like ace x of clubs. Could have king x of clubs as well, but I think this is just going to work out better as a bluff. I think we can make kings fold and make some queens fold. Also, we need to turn like things like this into a bluff, so... I think he bets all two pairs on the turn. Let's fucking 
go, baby. Boom. I mean, this guy does like small three bets. I think we're still peeling here versus the size. I think we peel versus like a, some most normal sizes as well. All right, we're gonna start with the call. King of green, please. King of clubs. I just think he check folds too often. We don't rep too much. We rep some queens. Are we gonna better sevens here? Yeah. Like you could just fold some king eyes here. I mean, he's never gonna fold like eights through like. Ah, let's peel. Gonna be bluffing river, which is annoying. We block folds, but I don't. I don't really like tripling it or like doubling it off. So I think that's why I decided to check and just realize the equity. Hopefully, it doesn't hear me with like ace jack or something. We block eights, which is nice. We block jacks. If it doesn't have like ace nine, just fold like king ten. I think we still have queens. I don't know if he's going to view it like that, though. I'm checking king queen, though. This one's a little bit more stressful than the 10 6, to be honest. Because this is like a spot where like he can just stubbornly call like ace 10. Fold. Fold. Yeah, this is like a meh open, but I think it's kind of annoying with button having under bigs. I think that's my problem. But like big blends, like worth trying to attack for. So I don't think we need to bet large here to generate the folds. We have an all in a call. Uh, Ace Jack versus King Queen has him drawn dead on the turn with the trips. All right. I mean, if we don't generate the fold, at least hit the queen. You know. I think he has a fair amount of ace highs, but he's probably got some pocket pairs to just side fold. He's gonna have a ton of things to just side fold. So let's just quickly call. It's a little annoying. It's it's like a spot where like I don't expect to get it through too often, but if it does, it's nice. All right, we don't river the queen. It's nice and boring. That's all right. We're gonna be check folding here. I don't think there's any way we win when he snap calls, snap checks. I think we're just zero percent to win this one. Crucial couple big lines to lose there, but wow, he peeled nines. He peeled uh, flush draw. A lot of people remaining here, sub 30. This is gonna be a blind level that's gonna press the action. Good time to pick up Ace King. No one opens, so we're not gonna be three bet jamming. It's not gonna be a simple decision. Obviously opening is still pretty easy though. I think he jams some of it. He probably jams most of his king queen here. Uh, ace 10, ace jack. I think it's two pairs. So he has jack 10, but even jack 10 suited might sometimes jam. So pretty good flop for us. I also have the backdoor spades with the king of spades, which is great. Yeah, not to say that he doesn't have king queen here, but I think we can reduce the likelihood of it. Yeah, he does make some two pairs on the turn jack 4, 10, 4. But I think we're still tripling this one off here. Nice. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Don't think any creativity is going to come out of me here. I think we're just going to click the call button. I think jamming is a little interesting. Probably not the best. Three betting not only in a situation like this, I think it's annoying, but I think we just fold. It's all right, it's acceptable. There we go. Just gonna find the check fold here. So we have two all ins on both of our outer tables here. You can basically see it now. All right, is this one getting called? It does call. Queen 10, 10, 9. We're down to the final two tables. One away from a pay jump and we got queens. Wow. Gonna be all in here. One away from a pay jump. We're gonna have to go non all in. Yeah, I'll just, we played with him earlier in the day. All right, final two tables, guys. It's about to get freaky naughty. 
Takes it down. No sweat. Coming in with the raise here with A6. This feels really close. Feel really thin. I feel like we could almost fade opening this. Actually, thinking about it. Actually, yeah, now that I remember, this is actually a fold. Fuck. Whatever. Yeah, this is actually a bad open. Alright. Yeah, this is actually a pretty bad open. Yeah, I forgot, like, 20 bigs. It's supposed to be really tight. It's supposed to be PKS. Like, kind of a crazy amount of fold equity. Cheeky Sleek likes a good peel as well on the button. Yeah, should fill it. Oh well. Alright. I think decisions are pretty easy from here. It's like constantly a mistake here for two bigs if we don't take this one down. Checks around turn, river six. Too much to ask. I think I'm still checking a lot of my strong stuff just to check jam, like queen jack, king ten. Uh, over pairs. Yeah, we just check fold though. Yeah, slight blunder here with the open. Um, yeah, with this with the stack distribution, everyone's going to be wanting to battle for my bounty. Final two tables especially, it's probably supposed to be a fold, but I didn't think about that part of it critically, and that's all right. Buckle up, this could be something here. Gonna find the defense. There's also an all-in on the other table, but he does get it through. All right, this is a big spot here. Gonna defend the queen jack, hope for the best. Queen jack didn't let me down in that big spot versus aces. All right, I mean, just gonna, you know, just in case we need to run away. Shouldn't expect too many checks here. It's gonna have a lot of ace x. That's gonna bet call. Just bet's a big blind, huh? <sighs> I think we just send it. Don't think we get cute. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't fucking sit down for this one. <laughs> okay, no snap. It's not bad. Whew. He's in the tank, huh? What if he just had like king's ear? I guess you have to call. Woo, baby! All right, don't win a ton of chips, but that's a big one just to not lose. Not losing people cheer. Oh, I think we take it versus cutoff opens. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the stacks. I think... Oh, we have an all on a call at the other table. Ace-7 suited jams. Ace-5 with the overcall. Oh, no. That's a huge knockout. We're down to 13. I think we still take this, though. Good luck, us. I guess we can humor a non-all in jam to see if... Uh, maybe we can find the page on. Yeah, I don't think loves, Love of Mondays is going to find too many folds here. We'll just see if somebody jams at the other table, but give it a little bit of time. I guess, honestly, it's just pretty realistic that it doesn't happen. All right, good luck, guys. A6 up against Ace Jack. I've seen a lot of those situations where I've hit the six and then the Jack has come. So I was, I was pretty paranoid still. Loves Mondays, but it unfortunately it's a fucking Tuesday. Oh, that's a sick joke. Got him. Beamed. Beamed him there. Could be a uh, TSN turning point here. We've got Ace Jack. 1.8 million at big blind. Blinds go up in five hands. He min raises this time. Interesting. Big spawn here. I think, I think for this one, I'll just take that set off. We'll just sit like this. Ooh. Oh, baby. Phones are fucking good, dude. Somebody's got to lose, though. Somebody's going to have to take the L here going forward. $27,764 is the USD or value of knocking out Ace from Spades. Or Ace of Spades. 
This is going to make Love Mondays, I mean, the $27,000 bounty. It's going to be worth a lot. Sure, deep running this is important, but like jamming here, it's probably going to get through a decent amount. I don't know. It does I mean, you're like 100% calling, but uh, I'm going to stall in my table because I need to, I need to sweat this one. <laughs> this is a fuck spot. I mean, I've seen these scenarios happen in smaller fields with equivalent uh, stack bounties, but this is just such an absurd sum monetarily. Start bounty with $625. Zazel gets out of the way. Oh, he snaps it in. Come on, 6-7, hold. Oh my god, he just gets it both. We're one away. We're 10... 10 left, two away from the final table. Holy shit. We're one away from a massive pay jump too. Jesus Christ. We're 10 left, pay jump here at nine, and then there's a pay jump at the final table as well. So the next two eliminations, now we're just priced in to have to tank. We really, 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 really don't want to get moved. I mean, there is another short stack that's as short as us. There's a couple people that are in the 20 big blind range as well. That's insane. I mean, Pot's River here, it's just interesting. Wow, what a sick spot for Crusher. Oh my god, dude. Oh. We see him get moved, which then puts us in the big blind, but I could take that because we don't we don't want to get moved to this table. Um, we're definitely happier. Like this is a, a much better table. Actually, this this player's pretty good, so losing him's good. <sighs> Crazy. I'll pull it back up if uh you love to donk ends up jamming. That's an insane one. I mean, he's made seventy-four thousand dollars in bounties and he has an absurd ship lead. Crusher 1991 has the world in his hand right now. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of thinking every decision from here on out. Wow, big all in. We're sweating. Oh my god, this is for a pay jump. Come on. This is for a pay jump. We still sweat. We still tank because we want to waste as much time as possible. Cause like it's it's likely that like maybe he busts and then this guy busts too, you know. The less hands we play, the better. Oh my god, huge spot! Oh my god, he overcalls. What the fuck? Ace king. Oh my god, spade and we're final table. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god! What a time to just drill versus aces! Holy shit! Why are we playing a hand? Why are we playing a hand? We're final table. I don't actually know what to do here. Oh my god. We're playing a hand on the final table? What the fuck? I think I'm supposed to jam here too. <sighs> fuck, please fold. Please? Oh, don't time back. Please don't time back. Not now. Dude, if we make final table and don't have to play day four, oh my god. Oh, please, just fucking fold! Fold! Fold. Please. Please. Please! ACR, this hand shouldn't have fucking happened! What the fuck, guys? Oh, thank God. This hand shouldn't have happened. Grow up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my fucking God. We just made final table. We have 12 bigs. I don't fucking care. Oh. Woo. That is the greatest ace king of spades I've ever seen in my life. What a cunt for drilling there versus aces. How? Oh, my God. That is the best run good. You you guys got to understand. You know what the difference between 10th and 8th is? That running spades. <laughs> that running spades alone made us $34,000. Oh. Fuck yes. Oh my god. Woo. <laughs> made the fucking final thing. Let's go, baby. Oh. What a crazy turn of events to make. The, and that's PKOs, too. We just went from 12 to 8 in two, two hands. Let's go.
We're coming in seventh in chips, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's a final tip. We're gonna. <laughs> this is gonna be the best content you guys are ever going to watch tomorrow, or it's gonna be ten. We'll be streaming for five minutes. It's one of the two. Oh, that's a that's a result. Oh my god. Eventually. I, I mean, we're playing for. I, I don't want to call it life changing money. I, I don't think anything's going to change regardless of the outcome of what happens here today, which, you know, I'm very fortunate for. I'm very fortunate that um, regardless of what's happened today, I've already been pretty fortunate in my poker career where, you know, if I win, nothing really changes. We just have a lot more money in the bank account, which is great. Um, I don't think I'm going to change anything. We're grinding. I don't think we're going to change anything we're playing. We're probably not going to change the stream, the stream schedule too much. We're just going to have a little bit more hype going forward. Let's get into this first hand. <laughs> Please don't fold to me. <laughs> oh, they're doing it to me. <sighs> I think I looked at this. I think this was around the line. We looked at this one, it's around the line. And there's the bin. Can someone just find the call? The rogue call? Nope. Okay. I think we just jam. I know we're never getting folded. I don't really want to put myself in a position where I call and then check fold flop. Get a little, uh, get a little hype and chat, guys. This is it. This is our first all in. Ten. Oh fuck me! Oh, oh, you gotta be. Oh, you guys are gonna fucking love that one. You guys are gonna fucking love that one. All right, let's get back and let's get close. Stay calm, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Everyone, stay calm. Stay calm. Oh fuck this! Is such a dumb spot. I mean. Oh. Wow. Oh man, how can you not win the whole tournament after something like that? <laughs> how could you not win the tournament after something like that? <sighs> Opportunity number two. Let's take a sip of water. I mean, do we want to not all in this one? Oh no, that guy gets it in. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no. Please just have ace king. I mean, that's just unfortunate. Oh, how do we hit the king queen there and it just leaves like that? That's rough. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I mean, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we didn't come in with crazy expectations. Um, bit of a bummer to see that. Yeah, you love to dunk. Uh, has spun up pretty significantly. Came in with 10 bigs. Came in with 20 mil. Now he's got 86 and is in third in chips. It looks like it might be his time to shine right now. He's got uh, he's got a bit of momentum on his side right now. Fuck. That sucks. Oh, it wasn't a long one. I feared it. This is the worst case scenario. It wasn't a long one. That's what I I, I wanted just to I wanted to enjoy it for a little bit longer. All right, guys. Uh Shit. I mean, that's just disappointing. I mean, the moment he jams, it's just like, I mean, we can't fold. I don't think. It's just like, it's just so nutted, but like, I mean, we, I don't know. I didn't give it enough thought, but like, I don't think it's only kings plus or like queens plus. Like, it's got to still just be ace king, 
He's still probably just ramming an Ace King. That's an interesting one because we did give ourselves theoretically an out, but I, I don't think we can go to seven and then fold. That's an interesting one, actually. The more I think about it, yeah, I think we put in a good chunk of our stack there. Going to be getting an okay price. It is a PKO, so it's not a freeze out, so that that is on our side. But it looks like we are going to be getting that eighth place. She, somebody's got to lose. Somebody's got to lose. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, if you guys didn't know, by the way, exclamation point GG Poker in chat. We got the Battle of Malta. That shit's going down. Uh, yeah, we'll, I think we'll probably be playing this tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're, we've got a little bit of disappointment in our hearts, but uh, I feel like that's warranted. You, you you spend all day going into it, and then you just... Uh, you just you, somebody's got to get eighth, you know? Somebody's got to get eighth. Shit. You guys want to play some marbles? 